So what happens when you take an old man and make all the enemies a lot faster? It means they run into my garlic that much faster and feed me. We're gonna have an easier start. For everything here, I'm just gonna take the ebony wings. It's not a great upgrade now, but will be later. We're gonna need that. We're gonna have not a single thing touch us this entire time, despite the increased movement speed. For now, they're just gonna upgrade me that much faster. Then we're gonna take a whip, because every old man deserves to whip something now and again. Now it's basically just a matter of finding the right drops and not making any stupid decisions. Okay, here's two things I very much like the fire wand and the spinach which actually pair together for now we're going to take the fire wand because i need the help we'll get the spinach later for extra damage there's a freezy thing we don't need to freeze the enemies yet they pretty much just dying to our garlic power uh i might have got touched by a little bit of something there i forgot the garlic won't uh completely annihilate other enemies yet but i'm pretty sure that's going to be the only time we're touched this entire time that is a lie of everything here, we're going to take the Candelabra door just to make our attacks a little bit bigger. It's fun when they take up the entire screen. Then I'm going to lead these idiots in a circle where I can kind of get all my damage in on all of them all at once like that, and get all their upgrades. They move very quickly, so I have to pay lots of attention. We're going to take the axe because we already have what we need to get its ultimate version, we just need to level them up. Plus, I just like the axe because I can be really lazy and it's almost always attacking something all by itself. The bat died, but we're going to take the spinach right away. Now we have what we need for the ultimate fire wand as well. And out of our chest, we got an axe upgrade, plus $114. Uh, for now, I'm going to take uh, the better whip, because the whip will also help keep me safe, and I just want to run into these herds of bats. And that way, we'll take them out. But this is going to be really good experience. I'm just going to stay right here and let them come to me for a sec. That's a lot of gems for this early on. That should be an instant level up, maybe two. Tempted to get a lot of this stuff, but for now, just the whip. I really want to try and focus on things that can have an evolution because those items are just too powerful to ignore. And we're going to need a lot of help at 50% extra movement speed. Okay, there's the peach one we need, so we're going to have the ultimate version of that uh, as long as we survive long enough, and that's going to melt everything. We've just got to make it there, and I think we could pretty much get the ultimate version of everything we have except for the garlic, and I'm not sure I'm worried about the garlic that much. Even then, we probably could get it later depending on what happens because our peach own thing does combine to give us another spot of room. Uh, I don't know if we have actually what we need for the ultimate whip yet, so I'm going to focus on the fire wand for now. I'm going to focus on what we know can get an ultimate version of itself. But also when I see bats and stuff, I'm uh, really going to focus on them. I didn't get hit there. That was nothing. Because they're going to give me chests, and uh, I'm probably going to need to rely on a few lucky chests in this just to get some uh, easier upgrades. Because the enemies come uh, so quick that I can die pretty much instantly. So let's do the fire wand again. That's going to make it quicker, more powerful, etc. And I'm hoping on a run like this I get so much money I get all sorts of stupidly overpowered permanent upgrades. The bat's dead, so I'm very carefully going to make my way there. Maybe I should have picked up the clover, but we got a fire wand upgrade, so I'm not going to complain with that. We need fire wand and spinach for now. That's all I want for a while. I don't actually know if I want any more uh, movement speed, because I think I'm just going to walk into the enemies too quickly. And as it is, I'm borderline touching all of them at all times. This is going to be really stressful. I'm pretty sure the pomerola is what I need for the whip. No, that actually pairs with the garlic, and that does lifesteal later on. I'm actually going to grab that, as much as a duplicator or peachone would be good. Ow. Uh, I've really got to remember to move at all times. Because if I'm not moving, I'm completely dead. I might try and upgrade the garlic just a little bit, to hopefully get a little more damage to uh, kill the things that are constantly running into me. I think on this one, I am going to take the duplicator. I could upgrade other things, but I think that extra projectile is going to make a big difference to me. Because even the whip now goes for an extra one. We're going to have extra fireballs. And oh, we're already at the praying mantis. I know this praying mantis isn't that strong. I should be able to kill it if I manage to focus a little bit of the damage on it. We're killing the dress wearing uh, guys. Praying mantis finally died. Give me something good. Give me five or something. Okay, we got a whip upgrade. I won't say no to that. So now we're doing lots of whips, lots of whip damage. And I do really like the whip because that does lots of damage close to me. That's hopefully going to save some things from getting too close. I would also like the ultimate version of garlic though too because I think it is lifesteal. So there we go. We get to increase uh, base area by 40% and damage by 2. That's going to make a big difference because we're going to start to hurt things when they're a meter away from me rather than half a meter. Uh, so far so good. The bats are coming in so I'm glad I upgraded my uh, garlic because we can just pop them like popcorn. But they are still going to push a lot of things into us quicker than ever because everything's moving quicker. So yeah, I'm going to definitely need the strong version of uh, garlic. Okay, yeah, that's why this is going to get dangerous. These are just basic idiots too. I'm going to take the flamethrower in a sec and try and get ahead. Uh, we're also going to take extra damage right now. I just got to be very careful how I move. This is so stressful. and This is the easiest things. Whip, whip, whip. Yeah, there we go. We're whipping our way to victory. 
And uh, out of everything here, let's get that garlic going. The stronger I can make that, the safer it's going to keep us, at least for now. Don't want to pick that up yet. There's a red vampire bat. Oh, we picked it up anyway. Okay, well, vampire bat and blue bat, I guess. So this isn't the end of the world. Uh, hollow heart, I think, is what we need for the whip. Yep, it sure is, so I'm going to go ahead and take that now. So then when we're ready for it, we can get the next upgrade. I also found a chest. Oh, a triple chest. I probably actually need this more than I'd like to admit, because... We're not struggling, but we're close to struggling. But that's good. Those all pair together. 10% extra damage, two fire wand upgrades. So that's going to bring it up to level 7. So it's going to be a big fire wand now. And I've got a decent pickup range, so I don't have to get super close to a lot of these gems into the danger zone, so to speak, to uh, get my experience. More red bats are coming out, so that's honestly... Not doing great things for my blood pressure. But we got another upgrade. Uh, we're going to take the axe for now, because the axe can be a good one. Okay, I'm going to whip some bats as much as I can, get the fireballs on them. I need these to thin out a little bit if I can. There is also an... Oh, if I pick that up, I'm going to pick up the fire flower, I think, though. Mm, I don't like the way I'm kind of not super quickly killing these red bats. So I'm going to have to hope the 10-minute challenge yields me a nice chest. We're not going to get too far from this for a second, because once 10 minutes start, uh, we're picking that thing up. And we're picking both of these up, and then we're going to firepower you. Can you die, please? Fire wand is level whatever, so we could potentially get the ultimate fire wand now. Uh, honestly, if it wasn't for that fire pickup, yeah, we got the ultimate fireballs now, so that's a big help. But if it wasn't for this fireball thing, we would have been struggling pretty quickly. Okay, so now our fireballs are going to pass through things, and then we're going to upgrade the axe. And then we're going to melt everything and have a little reset. But those fireballs are going to do lots of good for me. Because they're just going to fire in all directions and they're not going to stop to ask for directions. They're just going to keep going and that's a lot of experience. Now I just need something like the axes leveled up that attack in all directions to give me a bit of proper buffer space. The fireballs are good but they're kind of just making a lane in one direction. And I'm pretty much committed to running down that lane once the enemies swarm. That's a lot of skeletons and my garlic isn't quite enough to even pop them. So what do we upgrade here? The garlic? Probably the garlic just to try and get me through spots like this. Okay, I'm just going to keep running for a sec. I have to. I can't stop or they're going to swarm me. Normally this is the fun part where uh, we just gain mass experience. Now it's just stressful because they move so quick. Uh, I think we're going to take the garlic as weird as that sounds just to try and get a little... There we go. Now we caught up where we want to be. We can kill them quick so we can walk through them and... This will hopefully get us a little bit ahead. I'm actually going to take a duplic... No, I'm going to take the spinach here. We need the damage more than anything. A duplicator would add damage too, but 10% extra damage is more. And more garlic. This is the fun part right here. This is my favorite part of the entire run, I think. More garlic, I guess. We'll get the ultimate version of that pretty soon. And I just realized in the pause menu, it kind of shows you all sorts of good stuff, like 65% extra damage. One extra projectile, minus 3% cooldown. Those numbers are all going to climb nicely, but for now, I've really got to enjoy my popcorn. And the annoying ghosts are coming in, and there was a blue bat I almost didn't see. That would have been bad. We're going to upgrade that garlic once more, so it's getting very big and very strong. But it's werewolf time, so I've really got to keep moving now. We're going to upgrade the whip. And I do have an empty spot, so the empty tome might not be the worst idea because that's going to make everything attack just a little quicker. So let's take a better axe. One thing this extra enemy speed is good for is just the amount of extra experience coming my way at all times. I think this could be the ultimate garlic, which I believe that is. Which is the Soul Eater. Evolved garlic steals hearts, power increases when recovering HP. So in a world where everything is coming at me full speed, we have a dark shadow that destroys things and also eats them. I just wanted that red gem. That was kind of greedy of me. But this is all pretty promising so far. We're melting everything that gets near us. Uh, but things are obviously only going to get harder from here. Like this. The ghost parts are kind of the biggest problem. Firepower. Didn't mean to pick that up, but you know what? I'll take it. Uh, this is scary. I'm going to pick up this to hopefully get some more upgrades because I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm just going to go for damage for a second. Uh, we're going to take ebony wings again. I'll take all the ebony wings the game wants to give me for now. Those are only going to help. Okay, can we fight out of this? We can. See, we just find, found ourselves in a bad spot there. That was with a fire flower and all the upgrades we have so far. Since everything's frozen, I'm going to take advantage to just kill everything I can to thin out this bunch a bit. And hopefully get more of this. We got a whip leveled up. I need another level up on that whip. I need the ultimate version of that, like, now. We do need the peach one to level up, too. I need another, like, seven levels of that yesterday. Uh, the bats and the werewolves are not a super fun combination. They're able to get to me very quickly and do tons of damage. Plus, they're just unreasonably tough right now, so this is sad. 
But we are getting lots of gems, I guess. So uh, out of everything here, let's just take the ebony wings. I need more damage getting out and in a bigger area. We're not killing things quick enough. This is bad. Oh, that's bad. That was close. There was some food around somewhere. Don't touch anything. Where was that food? Okay, I found the food. Grab it. Okay, we're okay for a second. Uh, the garlic can heal me and the whip soon will be able to heal me. But until we actually get there, we're going to struggle. Okay, luck. We're riding by on luck, but I'll take it. So this chest gave me... I don't know if that's ultimate whip or just a whip. I think it's the ultimate version. It looks different. Yes, evolved whip can deal critical damage and absorb HP. Then whatever this is, I'll take. Okay, that's just less weapon uh, cooldown. So that's going to be attacking that much quicker. So this whip is going to... Yeah, this whip is uh, obviously a lot better because I can kind of comfortably just skate around in here. Oh, I might have walled myself in. We're going to fire, follow the fireballs. Uh, I feel a little more confident right now, but... Mm, there's still a lot of enemies I have to deal with and I don't should not be in this spot oh there's a freezy thing we'll take that and we're gonna go right into the middle of the big horde and uh see if I can yeah take out some of this I just need this thinned out so I can move again we're always right on the edge of complete failure we get a little bit ahead and then a new wave of enemy comes and then we're you know in trouble quickly so I'm gonna wander in circles again just try to keep myself safe while killing all of them this is so stressful Everything looks like it's getting so close to hitting me. I'm doing everything I can to do damage while not taking too much of theirs. But I'm also getting greedy like this. And we got a big mummy coming in, but before we even start to look at him, I want to get greedy and deal with some of this. And the Pichon's getting closer to leveled up. I'm going to be really happy once that gets to its ultimate level. Because then we're on easy street pretty much no matter what the game throws at us. We have officially killed 10,000 idiots this time though, so that's pretty good. We're going to uh, bully this bat until it's dead. And then uh, hopefully get its upgrades. A lot of mummies coming in too. Empty tome. We could also make our attack areas bigger. Yeah, that would be better too. I need lots of buffer room around me. The bigger the attacks, the better. Even for our whip and stuff. And there's a chest. So in this, we got another candelabra door. So that just means our attacks are that much bigger. Look at the size of our garlic now. So we should be able to pull some healing and stuff. At least some idiots. The garlic's obviously not going to kill anything by itself. But it's certainly going to grab some health from idiots around me. And the more idiots it grabs health from, I think the more it heals me. And currently we're at a minus 34% cooldown for weapon attack. So those are going much quicker than they otherwise would be. Here comes the 19 minute challenge. It's basically a square of uh, mummies, but they're not really a big threat to me anymore. Oh, and there's another level up. Uh, we'll take the empty tome. I just want things attacking as fast as possible. I also wouldn't say no to the upgraded axe. Because that does fire in all directions from me, so that gives me a buffer zone as well. Oh, here's a cross. I'm going to wait for uh, the 20 minute challenge and I'm going to use that. Because that's just going to be funny to watch everything die instantly. I mean, it kind of already is dying instantly, but I want to see the boss go. Just about there. Should be appearing on screen momentarily. Oh, I lost a lot of health there. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we're going to use that just to get a bit of a buffer room. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, let's hope this is something amazing. Okay, I'll take a triple chest. I needed a triple chest. So the Candelabra door is level 4. The Pichon is 5, so it's going to be a few levels before it's finally doing its thing. And the Axe is only level 6, but that's still close enough for me. We just need to not die here. So which direction are we going? Uh, we're going to do the Axe. We should have done the Pichon to be fair, but I wasn't really paying attention because I'm stressed out. For reasons you could probably imagine, I feel like everything's about to touch me and kill me. Uh, so we're going to regroup just a little bit and figure out which direction we can go in. Follow the fireballs, I guess. Yep, we're playing follow the fireballs for a while. Luckily, this does kind of work because I pick up the experience, the fireballs drop. We're going to freeze some enemies. That also saved us. We're relying on luck a lot on this run. I've got no problem admitting it, especially because you guys can obviously see. We could take more max health, but I feel like once things touch us anyway, we're pretty much instantly dead one way or another. But we're going to upgrade the Pichon. Let's do the Axe first. I kind of like riding this balance of almost dying perpetually. I don't know why, but it keeps it more exciting. Oh, and this is supposed to be a challenge spot. Uh, luckily, I think we're doing enough damage. We're going to get through this. Oh, we could freeze them again. Yeah, let's freeze them. I want to kill this blue bat. Where'd it go? Uh, I'm going to do my best to do this. Yep, there we go. Hopefully, this is a big upgrade. Okay, that's our Super Axe. That's going to make a big difference too. Because that's just going to go out in all directions and give me more buffer room. And those don't stop either. They just keep going. They don't one-shot things right now, but they will knock them back and hurt them. But we still have a lot of minutes to go and it's only going to get harder. Yeah, again, the mummies are kind of fun, but they're also kind of not because they don't move fast, but they don't really give you a lot of experience. I want things that melt away. 
Let's take Candelabra Door. Let's make everything bigger. Our garlic gets bigger, our fireballs get bigger, and so do our axes. They're getting quite big. Okay, now the Peachone's level 8, so when we get a chest, it's probably going to be the Peachone upgrade. I always forget what it's called, but I think someone called it the Rainbow Bird, so it's just going to be the Rainbow Bird. That's all this game is at this point for me. It's a quest for the Rainbow Bird. And once we do get our Rainbow Bird, we can have a free spot in our inventory, so I can't wait to see what kind of crap we fill that with. Oh, I just walked into a mummy and died. It took that little. That sucks. That was a really good run. That was just based on my own stupidity. I just walked straight into him. Didn't have to die there. Okay, my praying mantis friend has showed up, so we're going to weave through. And the fire thing is outside, but the second one's up there. That's fine, because we'll pick that up. Don't want to die while we're doing this. That would be embarrassing, but also quite easy to do, because we already lost a lot of health. Okay, we're going to step back. There we go. and Got them cleared out. And this appears to be a five-way chest. I guess I get rewarded for picking up the firepower off the ground and blasting that thing dead. So there's not actually any ultimate upgrades, but upgrades for everything I have. And there's a lot of food on the ground, so I think we've got pretty good luck going already. We've got some pretty good drops. Just need to make sure we're keeping our damage up now. Just bought another axe upgrade. Oh, it's the popcorn part. This could be fun. Normally I like the, uh, what's it called? The garlic to help carry me through this, but I think with the knives we're going to be okay anyway. They're very brittle. And uh, I'm just going to confidently walk through them for a second. And we need to do this in a straight line. Let's get the extra knives. They're going to penetrate one more enemy and they're already going like across the map. Finally, here's the whip. So we'll eventually get the ultimate version of that, but we're a little ways away now. Ebony wings level up. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and use this now. What's the sense in waiting? I need these level ups. Oh, it's werewolf time anyway, so I also need to be careful to not make the same mistake because last time I just walk into things and die. But I don't sell my fire wand up to level 8. Oh, I have to take one of these. That's so annoying. Maybe I'll just reduce the damage coming in. The lightning ring could be fun though too. Let's take the lightning ring. Let's go all damage. Our axe is now going to be level 7 as well. And now we just absorb some more of these. There's another upgrade. Uh, now we have to take one of these also. I guess armor it is. We'll make do with these. Uh, we'll get our lightning thing leveled up. Because we're already firing a ton of projectiles. So hopefully that means extra extra lightning. Okay, I can't really survive all this because the knives are too much. Focused in one direction. I don't have enough area damage. Well, this isn't going to be good. Can I get some health? I have a little bit of breathing room right now, but not much. That's going to go away right now. Can I kill this bat? If I can get that blue bat dead, I could actually get the ultimate version of something and be able to create a little breathing room. Because for now, I'm just kind of waiting for the inevitable. If I'm going to pick you up power-ups, I'm slowly dying. Okay, let's create some room and hopefully pick up a chest that's going to give me an ultimate item. Okay, it did. It gave me the ultimate knives. Evolved knives. Fires with no delay. So that's going to be kind of like a laser in all directions. Then the candelabra door to make them even bigger. So they're basically going to be like this fire thing, actually. They're just going to continually fire in one direction. These knives definitely do a lot of damage, though. I do like these. Get that health. Get some on the werewolf. I'm just trying to kind of hit that big werewolf when I can for a second, but... The moments I've got to pick very carefully, because I don't even like sitting here, because there's too many barriers below me. So let's upgrade the axes. They're going to do a little more for me. The big werewolf is back over here. Let's see if I can sink some damage into him for a sec. Good. If I, yeah, if I can get to that, actually, let's just... Oh, that was so dumb. I probably very much just killed myself by walking in here. I thought I'd clear the enemies out more. But we do have the ultimate fireballs, so maybe if we walk straight upright. Are you ready for this? Because I think we're doomed. Go! Oh, actually, we got out of that. I thought for sure we were going to lose all our health in an instant. But now we got the ultimate fireballs to help us choose a direction of safety. And I did want to try and do this one without the rainbow birds because they're just too overpowered, I think. They make it too easy. I wanted a little bit of a challenge, so this is what I get. It's not a damage problem, it's kind of an area of damage problem. I can only attack in these very singular lines right now, and that's very limiting to my movement. And it means the enemies can move in on me. And I don't know what to level up here. I guess the whip, maybe, because the whip's probably going to be one of my friends, because it's going to be close to me doing lots of damage up close, and potentially stealing life eventually, which is also going to be great. There's definitely a lot of gems left behind here, so I'm going to go ahead and eat all these up, while also taking maybe the ebony wings, uh, the axe to level 9, and um, the ebony wings again. Oh, look at all these upgrades. The whip again. The just don't stop. And some spinach. That was just a ton of upgrades. My health is almost back to full, so that's something. There is a bat, so we're going to kill that bat right away. Hopefully very quickly, and then get an ultimate something. Can you die? Thank you. 
There we go, we now have the ultimate axes, and that's going to help because those go every direction. So I have no more directional damage. Well, I still have that, but I also have to damage in all directions, which is going to make me feel better. And they knock everything back just a touch to give me just an extra second to maneuver. So now it's just basically up to me to not walk into enemies and kill myself. 20 minute challenge is getting closer, so I'm going to try and clear out some space around my fire peanut. Okay, this is the 20 minute challenge. Let's just pick that up and spin in circles for a sec. This is still really hard and challenging. Why? Why does this have to be so hard still? Stop touching me. Everything stop. Okay, I just got to move. I can't sit there any longer. I've got to find the route to safety somehow through all this. This feels so much harder than last time. I don't know what, what changed. Like, the knives don't do enough damage to clear a big enough path. Fireballs, go. Uh, okay, we can clear out the bats pretty quickly when you run into a horde of them. The axes are kind of satisfying when they go out because they just do huge waves of critical damage in all directions and that feels good. So the whip is now getting another upgrade again, so it's going to do lots of damage up close. And I need to relocate slightly. I'm too close to too many obstacles that are going to keep me walled in. There is a freezy thing though, so maybe I'll grab that if I can. Can you guys die? Thank you. And then we're going to kind of move down here for a sec. I want to grab some of this before moving on. It was a shame to leave it sitting here, so there we go. Ebony wings are getting leveled up. There's a red thing over here. Ooh, there's health down here. Okay, we're coming up to 25 minutes, so we're going to get, right, the purple flowers coming in now. I think I can melt them with my knives. Yeah, my knives go through them pretty easily. Uh, maybe not Big Boy here. So we'll have to give Big Boy a bit more of a effort. Yeah, we're doing lots of damage though. Okay, it died. We're doing a ton of damage in a focused direction and I'm all about it. And there's the ultimate whip. So now we get health back and criticals. Uh, also, Kanda Labrador all the way. That way uh, we just do bigger area for everything. Now my axes and everything are getting huge. My knives are getting bigger. That's definitely helping me clear out some room. Well, luckily for me, I can kill these flowers pretty quick. They don't really stand a chance. So we'll just melt our way through them for a while. And uh, I don't know, we'll just keep enjoying this process. I do like this can that this can still be done with tons of damage without the rainbow bird. Uh, Candle Labrador it is, and Lightning Ring it is. Lightning Ring it is again, uh, Lightning Ring it is again, and more Lightning Ring, and more Lightning Ring. Wow, we got a lot of those, as far as one more projectile. Okay, well, we're getting a lot of lightning damage. I guess we're collecting all the ones from earlier. So they're getting closer in now. Something is clearing out a lot of them though. Probably the fireballs. Just took another armor upgrade. Gonna take the red thing. And I guess now we're just collecting hollow hearts till the end. Got all of our ultimate upgrades, got all of our damage. And our knives are gonna have huge DPS by the end of this. And I guess we're not normally supposed to have all these projectiles. We have, I think, five or six extra projectiles more than normal. Here come the ghosts. So we're gonna try and evaporate those. We're at 27 minutes. And we can start picking up coins because we're literally out of upgrades. We've maxed out. Now we're just basically doing a victory lap. Everything so far I think we can kill quick enough to get out of the way. Except for maybe the blue bats. Which are going to start to spawn in in greater numbers soon. But you know. We'll deal with that when it happens. Then again I don't know what. Is this just a lightning ring? What is this? Thunder loop? I didn't know that actually works. Thunder loop and duplicator. Oh okay. I had no idea that was a thing. What did it do? That makes me think I've been reading off an old list, but that basically said projectiles now strike twice. And I don't know if that means all of them or just the lightning, but it might be all of my projectiles are now hitting twice. Whatever it is, it seems very strong. Oh, like a cross. Uh, because things seem to be dying e considerably quicker than they just were. And that's saying something because I was killing pretty quick. And here come the blue bats, so this will be kind of the test to see if we can actually survive this. So far, it's a little nervous. Are they touching me yet? They're kind of touching me. I think my whip and armor is actually keeping me alive. They did touch me there quite a bit, but I think the whip and armor uh, is taking back enough health that they can't actually really kill me there. Plus, if I do need health, I just need to walk up into some of the red gems. I'll get a level up and then I can take floor chicken, which is my favorite kind. Oh, and here's an attract orb. Give me all the everything. I cannot hold still though, still, because that definitely hurts a lot. Uh, but... Okay, um, yeah, we're just going to take a few of these because we had a lot of experience on the ground. At the very least, we're going to be rich. Well, there's many bats. They did start to hurt me. My health dropped about half there uh, because I wasn't able to whip quick enough. And here's our friend. But we did it and we discovered the new Thunderloop thing.